Hello Enric, I hope you're having a good day. I'm gonna demonstrate the project that I have developed for you based on your requirement. So uh, here we have the login form if the account is pre-existed or if you wanna make a new account you need to click on the register now and uh, we have the options like full name, username, password and here with the drop down list we can give a specific role either it's uh, going to be a consumer or the admin. So let's say I have already created some accounts so uh, go to login and let's log in as an admin. ID username is admin and password is 123 and I click on login. Okay. So this is our dashboard here. We have a few buttons and with the options like view survey, create new survey, view analysis and logout. So first of all, uh, we're gonna use this option, right? Okay, so if you see here on the first drop down list, there are three surveys available for the admin uh, with your respective IDs. So let's say if the admin going to view the survey of number 13, so you're gonna click on view and here are the survey details the product image uh, it's an interesting product by the way this is a test survey to test errors this is the description and here are the um, options and responses here so you're gonna click yes no and all the things right so there's another option you'll see called active so once the admin view the survey he can activate the prod uh, the survey and by default it is deactivated when customer when the admin create new survey yeah, you're gonna see it in a while so in the create new survey let's we create another survey i have the survey ready in my document so let's say this is the survey for the iphone 11 and we're gonna add the description here and we have a bunch of questions right so we're gonna copy the questions one by one. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna pause the video so it doesn't go long while I'm copying all the surveys, right? All right, so we're back here. I have added all the questions as you see here. The image is left, so. I'm gonna click on this add image button and uh, here we have the image for iPhone 11 right and I click open you can see it is attached here I just have to click on the submit button and the survey will be created all right the survey has created now now if uh, the admin wants he can always again view the survey you see there were three th three surveys before I created and now there's another one with the ID of 14 so if I view it so if I view it it's gonna say the survey is not active by the admin so before the admin can view it must be activated so I'm gonna click on active button right and then view it so you're gonna see all the details here right and then we have the survey analysis let's say I'm gonna select the 13 and view now it will show you all the analysis and information that how many times it's been you know given the yes and the no and here are the other discussions like strongly agree disagree neutral and something like that so uh, let me give you a demonstration from the customer perspective I'll click on log out it's gonna give you a warning if you really want to log out or not so for the customer it's same username is customer password is one two three simply click on login it's gonna give you a message all right so the customer has only two options one for sure that is for logout and the other one is for uh, view survey right so uh, this is the survey that uh, admin just created you see all the information is here we're gonna feel like um, do you like the apple product no do you have used the apple product yes so all the yes or no so we're gonna add things okay like this and we have to rate it. Let's get I'm gonna rate it eight five. Okay. So and then here is the decision. Say no approve. Okay. So whenever you select uh, something from drop down, it must be pressed OK. Otherwise, the value will not be stored, right? So 
so if it's gonna say uh, strongly disagree you're gonna click OK so once you click the OK it's value gonna show here that eventually be going to store in the database so um, click OK again and uh, submit right so the response is submitted even if admin wants to see it again you always gonna log in again and you know get the to show in the analysis let me give you a demonstration for the same survey the ID for that was 14 let me show you I'm gonna go to analysis and I'm gonna click for survey now here are the details that I have selected right so you're gonna see there all the uh, all the same questions that I put in the survey yes no's that we have so um, zero is yes and one is no and uh, so this is the count like how many people have uh, selected yes against the do you like the apple product and how many people have selected no for the product so it's just going to give you the number of uh, you know review customers have reviewed and their responses against it so these are the other questions i think that's all for it thank you so much let me know if you have any questions have a good day bye